It was practically unknown to most rural Zimbabweans a year ago, but today the name Zumbani is on everyone's lips. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter, standing here in the middle of the African bush. Uh, I'm actually in northeastern Zimbabwe, standing next to an example of this remarkable healing plant, the lemon bush, the fever tea, Lipia javanica, known locally as Zumbani. Why is it that there's been such a rush on it in the last year? Well, allegedly, people are taking it because they believe it cures that disease whose name cannot be mentioned. At least not on video, otherwise YouTube will ban me forever. But there's a lot of science behind that and a lot of reason to believe that this could indeed be very helpful. It is traditionally known as the fever tea because when you're feeling slightly feverish, this is the one you go to. And I personally can testify to that. I've drunk Zumbani tea, just made from the leaves many, many times when I've been feeling a little bit crook, sort of bit chesty, coldy coffee, and it does seem to work wonders. No real surprise, there are some uh, magnificent compounds in this. I'm not gonna go in detail into them. I have done that in previous videos. But just to say that these compounds share a lot in common with compounds found in uh, the cannabis plant, although try as you might to smoke this and get high, you will feel a little bit nauseous, but you're not gonna be on any flying trips, I'm afraid. Uh, but the best way to consume it is not to smoke it, it's to just pluck the fresh leaves which have a wonderful lemony fragrance, very, very strong, hence the name lemon bush. Uh, it's actually from the verbena family and steep them in boiling water and then drink it as a tea. That's what everyone does. Today in Zimbabwe, we estimate at least 100 tons of dried Zumbani leaves are sold on the local market every year as a herbal tea. It's not yet made it through the legal registration processes to allow it to be imported into Europe, North America, although I hope that's gonna come soon. It is a very remarkable plant and there's lots of reason to believe in the uh, veracity of all the stories, the magical stories associated with its healing. One of the best ways to consume its products is to take the essential oil from the leaves, which is a beautifully fragrant oil, which is widely used as an insect repellent because of that fragrance. And in fact, a few years ago, the South African government started a massive nationwide bioprospecting program across the whole of South Africa to try and find new plants with medicinal commercial potential and this was the very first one they developed and it was in fact for those insect repellent properties that they developed it but right now everyone's after it for its medicinal use it is known as well as healing or preventing fevers coughs colds for just calming you down which of course is it has in common with uh, cannabis and is caused by the same compounds that you'll find in cannabis so a remarkable plant and definitely a crop for the future. Uh, this is one I think we're gonna be seeing much more of. Not much is known about its cultivation uh, because it's generally fairly abundant in the wild, although it's been harvested a lot from the wild recently because of the belief that it can cure that disease. Uh, but I'm not particularly worried about it because I know it grows really easily from seed and as soon as it has significant commercial value, I believe people are going to start cultivating it. And these days already some significant quantities of it are being marketed as a herbal tea and I think it's, you're going to see a lot more of Zumbani in the future. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That's a quick flying episode in my ongoing series on indigenous plants of Africa that I believe have potential as crops of the future. If you like it, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel or Facebook or Instagram. It's all there under africanplanthunter.com. Just type it in, you'll definitely find me. Click subscribe and you'll get all my videos as they come out. That's it from me. I'm off into the bush looking for more of these amazing, magnificent plants. I will catch you later. Take it easy, bye. Thank you.